Hey guys, welcome back. So today's session we will learn about absolute references in Excel. So let's get started. Okay. <clears throat> so if you see over here, and uh, if you want to, so if you if your company decides to give you a bonus of hundred bucks, okay. So what you will do? The bonus, previous bonus, what was this? and new bonus is this okay so what you will do is you will type equal to this plus 100 okay so the result is 1100 and in order to calculate this it will be this plus 100 so i if i just drag and drop if i just move this cell again forward copy this formula if you see the Excel has automatically detected C4 and for in this case C5. However, I have just typed C3. So what Excel is doing is it increments the cell value also. Okay, so let's say you you your company decides that the bonus which you were getting currently now needs to be modified based on some percentage. Okay, so let's say you are getting a 10% bonus on this amount itself okay so what what will be the formula formula will be equal to this into this is the percentage uh, set okay plus this will give you the percentage as 100 1000 into 10% is 100 plus this cell again so what this gives is 1100 However, if I just take and drop this, what do you see over here? Why is the percentage not calculated for this cell or this cell? The reason is, if you see over here, Excel has copied C4 reference into I3. So I will just skip, I will just remove this margin center. Okay, so if you see over here, this cell is stored, this uh, data is stored in I2 and I3 is blank. In the similar way, I4 is blank and I5 is blank. So what you needed is you want this I path to be fixed. So how to do that? In order to do that, what you need to do is make this cell fixed. So one way to do is press F4 or else you can type dollar in between I I2 and before I2 so I will just press F4 okay and if I press it again and I just refresh this formulas you see these formulas have got repeated okay it has calculated the value over here also over here also so in other way in other words if you try to uh, implement this formula without using the dollar sign what you can do is you can copy this every time okay but copying this every time is not a good solution because that will increase the uh, increase your workload also it won't look nice so let's say if i plan to keep it fixed and in this case i will just type manually dollar dollar so let's say if you plan to keep it fixed, okay? And you want to change the formula over here, okay? So what I will do is I can change this formula anytime I need. So just need to change the value over here and boom, your new bonus is calculated, okay? So that was it for the day. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell.